Hey guys, Joe here again. So I'm back to talk to you about that FHA loan. As I had mentioned on my Instagram, I bought my first house with only $6,500 down at 21 years old. If you don't have me on Instagram, go check me out, SoCal Traveler, for my daily traveling as well as my different real estate uh, adventures. I'm not a financial advisor. I've just done a lot of different real estate deals uh, for myself, so keep that in mind. You'll definitely want to meet with a loan officer to see if this loan is right for you. Uh, now, an FHA loan is Federal Housing Administration loan, and that just means that it's backed. Uh, so in case you were to default on the loan, the lenders would be covered because you're able to put uh, less money down and have a lower credit score. Uh, the minimum is 3.5%, but if you have a 579 credit score or lower, then you're going to have to do 10%. It does have to be your personal residence, so it can't be an investment property. Uh, but you can do up to four units. So say if you were to get a duplex, a triplex, or a fourplex, you can live in one and rent out the other one or either once. And that's something that I'll be going over in a different video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, now with a FHA loan, you do have to have a job <laughs> and steady income. I know it sucks, uh, but it is what it is. So if you don't have that, then this may, loan may not be uh, right for you. Uh, they will also have maximum limitations on the loan amount. And that's gonna be based on the county of the potential property that you're looking at. So you wanna get with the loan officer and your real estate agent and see which one works for you. Uh, another thing you'll talk to your loan officer about is gonna be MIP. So mortgage insurance premium is uh, something that you're gonna to have to pay in your monthly payment. Uh, so that protects the lender in case you do default. Uh, you will have to get an inspection on the home. If the inspection uh, minimum requirements are not met, then that home may de be disqualified also. So there's a couple different things to kind of keep in mind when you're going through uh, looking for a property and figuring out the uh, different loans that are available to you. You don't have to be a first time buyer for this loan, although it is attractive for first time buyers because of the, the minimum requirements on it. Uh, with all that said and done, after 60 days of closing, if you do get the property, then you'll have to move in because like we said, this is supposed to be your primary residence. Um, now, I hope all this helps, guys. Uh, if you have any other further questions or, or anything, feel free to uh, you know message me, ask me anything. I will be making some more videos, so just get out there, um, go look at some properties and kind of you know get, get the ball rolling and make something happen. So uh, we'll talk to you later and see you next time. Bye.